Oh, that's going to be a nice Christmas present, isn't it? Um. All right, where do I start? Where do I start? Well, um, most of this came about because the car's MOT is due soon. Um, the rear end was sagging a bit, so I brought some new springs and um, I knew it needed its brake pads doing and the anti-roll bar bushings, which I started doing on that side, the worst side. Um, yeah, pretty quickly into it, I realized that um, there was a lot of rust on the back. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, this is a project car that I got about, um, ooh, I think it's almost exactly a year ago now. Um, it had never intended to be a daily driver or anything, um, but due to family circumstances, one of my other 9.5s had to go to a family member, which left me with this as a daily driver, or a rolling project as they say. Um, on the plus side, it was for free. Um, but, no, I mean, I knew it was always going to be a project, it's, it's not in good condition at all. Um, if you check out the... Oh, one of my very early videos, I'll see if I can do some YouTube magic and put a link up somewhere. Um, one app video, I, I did a quick walk around. As you'll see, I mean, it's got quite a bit of rust on both of the front wings. The paint works in terrible condition. But beyond that, I mean, the engine runs fine. As far as I'm aware, it's still the original engine. I haven't really gone looking too much to check serial numbers or anything. But as far as I'm aware, it's still the original. It hasn't sludged up, oddly enough, despite being one of the ones that does, so it looks like this might be what kills the car in the end, I don't know at the moment. But anyway, still, it was free, so there's that. So, so far it's cost me next to nothing, I really haven't spent a lot of money on it at all. Um, I fixed the valve rocker cover and I painted that up, that was on this car. I fitted the blue Saab, that was on this car. And... Um, the USB ports from the Saab 3D print guys in Sweden, they're in this car too. But that brings me to this. Um, I took, I, I realized I'd need to do some exploring, so I took the arch liner off of that side and was greeted with what was clearly a lot of holes. Um, I think it looks pretty bad. Now, I'm not a welder, I can replace parts and stuff, but I'm not a welder. So I don't really know. Um, the car's going to the garage soon to see what they think about it. I've posted on um, some of the Facebook forums about it. The results so far are, well, let's just say mixed at best. Uh, there are plenty of people saying that's repairable, shouldn't be too much. Um, there's plenty of people saying that theirs was similar and they had theirs done and it cost nearly two grand. Um, and there's people saying they scrapped the car that wasn't anywhere near as bad as this, so I really don't know. Um, I, most of it boils down to, I mean, am I willing to pay two grand to fix this car? And if it is that high, and I really hope it isn't, but if it is that high, I'm not sure. Um, I mean, yes, the car cost me nothing, but... If I have to pay £2,000 to um, get this fixed, I will, in essence, have paid two grand for a car that basically still looks like shit. Uh, this side is by far the worst. That's the driver's side, so... Uh, Right-hand side of the car for everyone that drives on the other side. Uh, as far as doing a project car on YouTube goes, I'm afraid since I won't, there's no way I'm doing this work, uh, although it would be an ideal time to learn how to weld at the same time. Mm, it's a pretty big problem to start on. Um, so, I think for the most part, if this does turn into a series, I mean, what, one of the things I'm thinking, this side might be saveable. We might be able to, we might be able to get this patched, because this side isn't as bad. Um, looking at this side, though, and again, I'm not a welder, but... It's looking like cutting out most of the arch itself. There's basically nothing left for the um, the upper part of the mount for the spring and the shock absorber to even screw into. 
Um, I think it's being held in entirely at the moment by the lower two screws, uh, bolts, lower two bolts, not the upper two, because there's nothing there for them really. Um, so I don't know if that side can be patched or if that's going to be a complete cutout and then try to source a, a decent replacement from a scrapyard or something to um, then get that put in its place. Um, so, I mean, there still might be a project, I don't know, or a series of videos, I should say. I'll be, con I'll be taking it to the garage soon to see what they think, and then, um, I suppose, I might have to go and visit MGT Saab in Troon, um, see if they've got any 9.5s in decent enough condition that I can have most of the rear wheel arch cut out. I really don't know. So by all means, keep your eyes peeled for any future videos. I do have some, uh, I've still got some work I did um, previously that I haven't actually got round to uploading yet, so I still need to get those out of the way as well, but um, this one is obviously going to turn into a bit of a project perhaps. Well, more of a project I should say than I was but expecting. I would be sad to see the car go, I don't want to. Um, I really don't want to, but at the same time, I can't spend thousands on it, if you see what I mean. Um, hopefully, it can be repaired fairly cheaply. Uh, obviously, I know this is going to be multiple hundreds. Um, and with any luck, for anyone that has been following along with my videos, um, there, there'll be a nice little series of videos about getting this fixed. I'll record everything I can record, but obviously since I won't be doing the welding, I probably won't be able to record that. So anyway, um, I hope you're all looking forward to seeing uh, the progress, whatever progress is made on this. Uh, if you're subscribed, that's fantastic. If you're not, don't worry about it, honestly. I, I, I hate that whole YouTube thing of, oh, subscribe to me. It's fine, look, if you're not, don't worry about it don't bother. If you are, yay! That's great, but don't feel like you have to at all. Um, with any luck, the car will be saved. Um, I'll document everything I can, uh, including price, because at the very least, uh, this might serve as a cautionary tale to anyone else out there. Um, now, the weirdest thing about this car is that both the rear dog legs are fine. And I'll be honest, I had used that as a, as a kind of a proxy to the, the state of the rest of the car underneath in, in that area. Because um, I know 9.5s, they're prone to having their dog legs bubble up and everything. This car, absolutely fine. Now it's possible it's had work in the past. I've only had it for a year and let's face it, it's a 20 year old car now. It was, it's a model year 2002, um, but is it a model? Yeah, it is model year 2002. Um, registered in um, the latter half of 2001 so I mean it's not a new car let's face it um, but I mean it's still a bit of a shock to discover that this has been rusting away quietly so by all means people maybe you want to take those rear wheel arch liners off and have a look at the actual condition uh, I'm not sure if it's easier I mean if you don't want to be getting underneath the car you can take the innards off like I've done here uh, for the most part um, this side was covered in the fit in the blue Saab module so again I'll try and do the YouTube trickery get a link put up there for that video so if you want to take most of this off uh, well if you want to take one of these sides off to have a look oh god I probably shouldn't tap that too hard should I um, yeah, most of that was covered in the Blue Saab video. Um, the only thing left is, and I seem to have tidied it away, um, most of this soundproofing that gets pushed in various places. Um, it, you will have to, although you'll take the side cover off, the actual wheel arches themselves are still covered in soundproofing. So you then you have these few little screws that you take off and then you can pull that away and beyond that so if you don't want to get underneath the car and take away the wheel arch linings you can just do this internally take it off and then possibly be greeted with this sort of horror show here it's worth doing 
and obviously it's not the kind of thing you want to put off you, you want to get the you want to get this done sooner rather than later um, don't let it get as bad as that side there so, so yeah I think that's that for now um, car will be going to the garage soon um, with any luck I'll be doing a video saying it's being saved, but I honestly don't know. Um, I've um, that side seems the worst, and I have been beating it with a hammer. The the main flooring area, there was some rust around um, one of the subframe mounts as well. But although big flakes have come off, the the metal underneath still seems solid. There's also a little bit of patch. I think it's been patched before. I know one of the cars, um, at some point when I was looking through previous MOTs, there was welding done for the rear seat belt prescribed area, which I think will be that side there, where, where I think there's been a previous patch. My first thought was that it was a goner. Um, Again, not being a welder, when I see when I see a large amount of rust like that and massive holes, um, I'm, I'm hoping I've just panicked a little. And it's perhaps not as bad, but I don't know. Um, maybe I'm I'm feeling quietly optimistic. I'm kind of there's a little voice inside that's saying maybe it can be fixed, um, but out loud, I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see how it goes. As always, thanks for rusting. <laughs>